Hi, welcome back to my suburban garden. So today I'm killing potatoes. So it's simply adding dirt. So I'm removing my mulch first. Um, you don't, you want to add dirt, not cover them, but to about right here. I didn't leave myself a lot of room for healing in this bed. And, um, but I'm going to do what I can. Um, Lazy Dog Forum does a video on healing. And um, he's actually doing an experiment. Um, he's healing some of his potatoes and not healing some to see if it really adds production. Um, that's why you do it, to add production. I should have put this dirt lower so I had room to heal, but I'm gonna heal what I can and see if it adds production. Um, but I'll include Lazy Dog Farms, um, the link to that video in the description below. It is a good time for me to ask you to like this video and subscribe. Subscribing really helps the channel and I appreciate it very much. Back to my potatoes. So it's been about a month since I fertilized. So I am gonna go ahead and fertilize as soon as I move all this mulch out of the way. So I'm side dressing for fertilizer. If you do um, potatoes in ground, instead of in a raised bed. This is easier. You know, you can heal them as tall as you want. Um, I don't wanna do them in ground. I think this is easier for um, harvesting and anything I can do to make gardening easier, I do, just because I have so much trouble getting around the garden. Okay, so now I um, fertilize, side dress with my fertilizer. And now I'm gonna add the, now I'm gonna add the dirt. So, so you can see I added the dirt to, over the foliage. Not by a ton, but quite a bit. And I did actually leave myself room to, to do, for healing, apparently, because I healed about, I don't know, about three inch. I healed about three inches. So, there you go. And that's all there is to healing. I'm going to do the rest of this bed, and I'll see you in the next one.